What is the most creepiest thing you saw even though you are very skeptical about paranormal things? My aunt has a story of her and her siblings sharing the same experience while in three separate rooms. My aunt and I were driving in the town she went to school in. We drove past a house and I remarked how bad it looked. She replied it is worse inside. That place is haunted. I had never heard my aunt talk of anything paranormal and I haven't since. The story goes that the three of them rented out some sketchy house while going to school. Apparently. Strange things would happen that made them feel uncomfortable but never anything crazy. They would all notice on a few occasions they would wake up in the night with the blankets off and at the foot of the bed. Nothing strange. People kick of blankets when they get too hot all the time. One night. My aunt recounts that she had a dream she was falling and needed to grab onto something to save herself. She suddenly realized that she wasn't dreaming and she was being pulled by her ankles out of her bed. She grabbed the rails of the headboard and after a few horrifying moments she gets the strength to scream. At the same time she hears screams from her siblings' rooms. Just as soon as it started, the feeling ended and she ran to check on them. They all had the same feeling of being pulled out of their bed. Needless to say they moved out and didn't look back. The girl I was babysitting one night came running out of her room crying saying something was walking by her window. Now I get a lot of creepy stories and things from the kids I babysit. They have crazy imagination. So I go check not really thinking anything. Something runs by the window as I'm checking it out. A distinctly humanoid figure. At this point I needed a diaper as much as the little girl I was babysitting. So I text the parents asking about it. And no speep this is the response I get. OMG you saw it too. Yeah I cried. Called the cops too. They came by and said they didn't see anything around. The thing is. The parents had called the cops several times before too for the same reason. One of the freakiest times I've ever babysat. Was working as an EMT in a rural small town for a few years was up late after a run finishing my report when I started hearing someone come down some wooden stairs in the bay about 40 feet from me. The stairs go up to a training room and it's just me and my partner there. I go look. Nothing there. I go sit back down and try to finish the report. Sound gets loud and fast down the stairs so I just get up and start walking out when the plug in for the ambulance just shoots out and crashes against the wall. Decided to finish my reports in the bunk rooms. My dog sleeps in my room. Every so often in middle of night she goes up to blind corner of room and growls at it for around 30 seconds then comes back to my bed. There's a section of the warehouse I work in that's from the 1940s and is said to be haunted. Well I was on the second floor one night shift is 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. when I saw someone lean out of one of the aisleways along the side of the main walkway. Notice me. And lean back as if they were just checking to see who was there. Thinking it was my manager. I called out to him and walked over. But nobody was there. Being that this section of warehouse is 80-ish years old. The floors are all wooden and incredibly loud. There is no possible way someone could move around up there without making footsteps or creaks. I heard nothing. Saw nothing else. And nobody else was on that floor. Exploring the old abandoned army barracks in Whittier. Alaska at night. I don't believe in the paranormal. Not even a little bit. But dang was there some crap I couldn't explain. Shadows. Strange sounds. Sudden ambient temperature drops. All the stuff you used to see on Ghost Hunters. It was creepy as heck. My grandmother had a story of dreaming a woman with long black hair was strangling her. When she woke up she was holding several long black hairs. No one in the house had hair past their chin and none of it was black. 
I had one where I was camping on a college class trip and we were in an empty New England campground in late fall. It was all very Blair Witch and creepy but the night was uneventful. We were getting ready to go the next morning and I ran to the bathrooms while the vans were being loaded. I was in a stall and someone came in and got into the stall next to me. I was tired and a bit irritated because there were a bunch of open stalls and I don't like people in the one next to me. So when I finished I glanced under the door to see whose shoes they were since we were literally the only people on site and there wasn't a damn thing there. I had heard the door. The footsteps. The lock of the stall door rattling into place and there was no one else in the room with me. I hightailed it out of there and got the hell on the van. Scared me all the more with it being a sunny morning without an ounce of creepy to prime me to hear things. Undefined. One night. I was driving the car with my friend in the passenger seat. We were taking back roads just listening to music. There was nobody else around. And the stretch we were in was without street lights. Out of nowhere. Two blaring lights shined in the rear view mirror. I swear. I looked at the mirror and saw a car right behind me. Since nobody had been around just seconds ago. I assumed the car must be driving pretty beeping fast. So I floored it. I braced myself for impact. A second later when nothing happened. I looked back at the rear view mirror. There was nothing but the faint red from my own tail lights. I slowed and told my friend what I just saw. She admitted. She did not see any such lights. She did. However. Get a creepy feeling and shiver just moments before I saw it. The cherry on top. The road we were on is one that my driver's ed instructor had me drive on. 16 long years ago. On that same stretch of road. He was telling me a story about some teen who was driving recklessly and drunk on that street. He went on describing the kid and how he went driving along with his buddies. Up until we came to a slight curve and he pointed to a memorial cross on the side of the road. And that's where he crashed. My skeptical brain wants to chalk these headlights up to a hallucination. But I've never had a visual hallucination before. It's been years since this event occurred and this most plausible explanation still doesn't make sense. The one and only time in my 32 years that I've ever had a hallucination. Just happened to be when my friend got the shutters as we were driving down this same road. I mean. I think that's still more likely than ghosts. But this was the one thing I've experienced that I really can't figure out. I have hallucinated twice on the road when driving alone what's called white line fever. I was driving on a country highway for like an hour when I saw logs roll off the back of a pickup truck. It didn't bother me in the slightest. I just swerved to avoid them. Then like 30 seconds into this I realized. WTF. And pulled to the side of the road. The pickup truck really was losing its cargo and it eventually ran off the road. But for 30 seconds it didn't bother me at all. I was so freaked out that I sped away from that and unfortunately. Experienced high anxiety that entire weekend because of it. Also I should mention that I drove right past the pickup truck because I was so freaked out. Though clearly they needed help in some way I'm sharing that. Not because I'm proud of it. I'm not but to show how freaked out I was. But another day after driving all night I also hallucinated a giant hand come out of the sky. Pick up a car in front of me and gently put it in the rest stop. Freaked out. I pulled over in my car and slept from like 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. and I was fine for the last two hours I had to drive. I was a manager at a pet store. And we used paper bags. This elderly lady bought a couple things. And was rang through and then continued to browse for a bit while she waited for friends slash family. As I was filling out something on one of the unused tills for paperwork. I noticed this woman's paper bag start to leak out of the corner. Then turned into a steady stream that did not stop. 
At first I was like maybe she put a bottle of water on the bag upside down. No biggie. So I went over to point out her bottle was leaking in her bag she didn't notice and then I looked into the bag. No bottle. Nothing that could have been leaking. It was a clear bag of biscuits packaged in store. And a bully stick. I took the bag of biscuits out and it was completely full of water. Draining out of the corner. But here's the paranormal slash unexplained bit. The bag never decreased in level of water. It just kept pouring water with no stopping. Me and a few customers just watched it for 10 seconds before I realized I should take it outside. So I did. Customers in tow. And just sat the bag down while it continued to pour. And after 30 seconds after I put it down. The bag's water level started to sudden decrease and was empty in like 5 seconds. I was peeping floored. Like what did I just witness? A bag that was magically connected to a source of water? I don't and still don't know. I watched the cameras over so many times and couldn't explain it. I still think about it from time to time as it still rattles my brain.